you have a constitutional right to travel. That's true. You don't have a constitutional right to drive a car with no driver's license. So people come in with this half cock, cockamamie, jabberwocky idea that uh, they're their own country. Hey everybody, it's the Irish Demon here. Back, Hold on. back with another video. Today we have Judge Middleton dealing with a sovereign citizen. Now there's nothing better than a good sovereign citizen video. What is wrong with me today? There's nothing better than a good sovereign citizen video, except for when the judge shuts them down. Now we've all seen judges argue with sovereign citizens, but when a judge just completely caves in their whole idea from the very beginning, it just gives you that feel. That's exactly what Judge Middleton does here. So let's check it out. So give me a good nickname for this fella down in the comment section. Jacques Lavise Scott. Would you come right up to the podium, please? Give me the top copy of your advice of rights. Right, the thing in your hand. Bring that right up to me. Good morning, sir. This is file number 231435OT. It's a white pigeon ordinance case. Your name is Jacques Scott? Yes. You got a ticket in White Pigeon on uh, July 29th for no valid operator's license and no registration plate. I got an email from the White Pigeon Village attorney, Mr. Seth Coaches. He emails the court every Monday afternoon regarding the Tuesday morning White Pigeon cases. And it's very helpful. So let's talk about this. Uh, the charge, no valid operator's license, is a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a fine of up to $100. Carries two points on your driver's license and goes on your driving record. You're also charged with having an improper registration plate, which is a civil infraction that carries a $120 fine. Mr. Coaches emailed me yesterday, and he's willing to dismiss both of these charges for a plea to a lesser charge while allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code. Um, that one is a kind of a strange charge. It carries no points. It doesn't go on your driving record, and it won't affect your ability to continue to work on getting your driver's license. However, it is a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a fine of up to $100. The normal fine is $100 plus costs. The other charges would be dismissed. The public defender, Mr. Keith Stickley has joined us. He's available for any consultation for anyone if needed. But Mr. Uh, Coaches, the White Pigeon Village attorney, has agreed to save you $120 by dismissing the other ticket and two points and putting this on your driving record if you plead to allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code. Are you willing to plead to that lesser charge? Can you a better definition of sure? This, this it is a little confusing. The charge you're charged with is not having a valid operator's license. That's a misdemeanor. It carries two points and it goes on your driving record. Let's take a look at your driving record. Well, I'm practicing other than the constitutional right to travel. What was that, Tav Sit? Something about a constitutional right to travel? Why not just speak up then? What you whispering for? Oh, this hair is going to annoy me for the rest of this video. Your license is expired. Um, and uh, you don't have a valid license. And I heard you whisper to Mr. Um, uh, Stickley, you have a constitutional right to travel. That's true. You don't have a constitutional right to drive a car with no driver's license. So people come in with this half cock, cockamamie, jabberwocky idea that uh, they're their own country. And um, 
they don't need a driver's license or a proper plate to drive. Well, in this state, you do. So the prosecutor has agreed to dismiss these. It won't go on your driving record, won't carry any points, and he's dismissing the plate violation. So it will save you about $250 maybe, $200 anyway, and no points. Um, so it's up to you. If you wish to plead guilty to the lesser charge, you can do that. Or if you wish to plead not guilty, I'll simply set the matter for a trial. What would you like to do, sir? Seeing my circumstances of what I'm dealing with, um, what's the second option you stated? The so he's allowing one. another to violate the motor vehicle code. It's a legal fiction. It, it's you, the other you're allowing to violate the motor vehicle code is yourself. But the lawyers use it because it doesn't carry any points. No problem. It doesn't go on your driving record and won't no affect problem. your ability to get your license back if you wish to do that. No um, so that's option two. The other option is to plead not guilty, and I'll set the matter for a trial. I'll take the second option. The um, the one you state that's confusing. Well, in all fairness, Lino, given the fact that you're a sovereign citizen, or at least an attempted sovereign citizen, it's highly likely that basically everything is confusing to you. I'm surprised you managed to get that shirt on this morning, or at least get your head in the right hole. Ooh, that could be taken out of context. Okay, plead to allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code. Yes, 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 yes. All right. <coughs> Where were you going that day? I was traveling to my bank. Okay. Which is and is your way. driver's license expired? I don't have a license. All right. That's good enough. Now, you had a driver bring you today? Yes. Very good. Well, this will save you 120 bucks off of that. What do you do, sir? What's your occupation? Security. Very good. Security. You work in security. What are you securing? Would you trust a sovereign citizen to secure anything? I wouldn't trust a sovereign citizen to secure a steak in a room full of vegans. Well, I mean, to be fair, the vegans probably wouldn't be able to drum up the energy to steal the steak in the first place, but that's neither here nor there. I'm sorry, vegans. That was a cheap shot. I hope there's no beef between us. It was a big mistake. <laughs> no, but obviously I don't mean any of that. It's just a metaphor. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting hot in here. I'm baking. <laughs> you still live in White Pigeon? Yes. White Pigeon's a little town. If they see you driving, they'll pull you over again. Just a word of caution. So the fine's $100. There's no points. It won't show up on your driving record. The state costs are $125, so it's $225. But this won't appear on your record. Do you need some time to pay that? Yes. How much time do you need? It could be Friday. Oh, I'll give you more time than that. Uh, can you pay it by October 5th? Certainly. Okay, that's 225, 10, 5, 23. We'll give you the rest of August and most of September. All right, sir, you're good to go. Well, there we have it, folks. An epic shutdown before this guy could even get going. God bless him, he tried, and God loves a trier. Anyway, folks, I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you do like the Savsit stuff, have a look at this guy over here. You're going to see a pop up at the end. He's a sovereign citizen that gets arrested and demands basically millions of dollars for his time. It's absolutely epic and it's hilarious. So I really hope you enjoy that one. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. We will catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Sláinte.